you know, I expect one please. So we're doing the technique here. Passes, he checks us up. I turn and I'm coming back to the throat. Switch that. You go to the other side. My bad. Yep. Um, it's the lights right there. Oh, sorry. So I've cut. I'm here. I've done this. He checks this. He reattaches to the throat, right? When he reattaches to the throat, I'm going to turn and cut down right on the tricep this way, right? So let's turn to the other side. Right there. Right? So when you cut the tricep, that prevents the person from being able to straighten their arm again, right? So now they can no longer punch you effectively, at least. And like I said, it's going to be relative to however much of the tricep you cut. So if you cut the whole thing, obviously it cannot do anything, right? So if you cut half of it, I would guesstimate that their strength is probably less than half. Um, I don't know why that makes sense to me, but here, and I'm coming to the tricep, and I come back down to this side right here right away, okay? All right, so cut, tricep, and I'm this side passing so I can reinsert right here if I want, okay? Any questions on that one? Just a nice little pivot, and you're gonna let this hand roll over. So I've done this, just check this. From here, I'm just gonna drop my elbow to my side and turn this way, right? So he's, if, even if he's pushing up on my elbow, I'm changing the angle of this. He's pushing it this way, but I'm going this way, right? So I should be able to pull this elbow back down to my side and get to this tricep and get my good side pass back up to my free hand. All righty?